So, we're going to install the motherboard into the case. We have to prepare the case to take the motherboard. The first thing we need to do is take out that back plate that's underneath the left fan that will just pop out. The next thing is to install some riser screws into the case like these here and what they do is they allow us to screw the motherboard into the case. First of all we have to find out which ones to put them in. So I've looked at my motherboard and I've looked where I need to put in some more riser screws and I've installed four more than what was supplied in the actual case itself and I've taken a couple out as well. Next we have to put in the back plate that came supplied with the motherboard. This will be a fairly simple job, we just need to click it into position. Do make sure that it is fully clicked in. And there is the back plate installed. So now we're ready to put the motherboard into the case. All we have to do is lay it into the case and screw it into position if we've done everything correctly. I've laid the motherboard in position to make sure that everything looks okay. The next thing I need to do is screw it in. I'll usually start with the side closest to me as I'm standing now. Before you screw the motherboard in, just check the back plate there and make sure that none of the connectors are covered by any metal. All the screws are in, apart from this last one. Just make sure it's tight, and there we go. Motherboard installed. Before I put the heatsink and fan and the graphics card onto the motherboard, I'm going to install the DVD rewriter drive and the hard drive. I do those first because the heatsink and fan and the graphics card may actually get in the way. The cover on the front of the case should just pop out if you give it a push from the inside. Then all we need to do is slide the DVD drive in from the front. So we push the DVD drive in, line it up with the front of the case and then at the side we'll be able to screw it in. A couple of screws either side and the drive is installed. To install the hard drive just slide it into a free three and a half inch bay and line up the connectors and screw it into position on both sides. You don't need to remove any of the front panels. So now the hard drive and the DVD drive have been successfully installed we can now move on to the heatsink and fan and the graphics card.